Hello and welcome back to the channel, glad to have you here. Today we're going to talk about my 8 step process for making profitable Redbubble designs that make daily sales and that are simple text based winning designs. I'm going to show you my exact strategy. Let's get started. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, like, share and subscribe. I'd love to have you on board. I do daily videos talking about my passive income journey, everything from Redbubble to writing on Vocal and Medium, as well as Amazon KDP. So are you looking to make money starting simple designs on Redbubble? I've actually dived into this topic many times on this channel as well as on my blog as well. You can find the link in the description box below where I talk about different strategies and tactics that I've implemented and that have brought success in boosting my Redbubble portfolio. So you can access that in the description box below. But um, right now I'm going to show you step by step, my step by step strategy on making profitable designs. First of all, choose your niche preferably i would select a niche that i am interested in so i want you to forget the number for a while and focus on the topics that you know it's really really important to niche down and the formula that i follow is at least 70 percent of the time since this is when the majority of your sales will come from so niche down as much as you can specialize in a specific language a hobby a culture or a social group once you've done so, then you can actually expand to specific events later on in your journey. An example of this, for example, when it comes to the language event and uh, target audience, let's say, for example, Spanish Christmas themed designs for children. So that's the choosing your niche part. We're done with step one. Step two is the keyword research. And this is a two step process. This is really, really important, super important when it comes to Redbubble specifically because they work on tags and tags are supposed to come from winning niches. So in terms of uh, the keyword research, it can be broken into two parts, searching tags on Redbubble and part two is using bubble trends to help generate trending tags. So let's have a look at the first way to perform keyword research. Well, it's basically using the Redbubble platform. You can easily do that by using the simple trick on Redbubble website search bar. Go on the search bar, type each letter one by one, one at a time, A, B, C, in the search bar, and see which keywords have the scaling graph image next to them. These keywords are trending. I want you to go ahead, open an Excel sheet, a new Excel sheet, and I just want you to take note of the trending keywords, then search them up one by one, write them down in the Excel uh, spreadsheet, and then search them up one by one. The simple rule is, if there are less than 300 designs per trending keyword, then this is a great opportunity to make your own designs on that keyword. This is the first part of keyword research, or the first way to do keyword research the second way is more specific i want you to go on bubble trends bubble trends is the quickest way to get trending keywords there's the paid version and there is the free version i personally use the free version it works great for so many other people as well this shows you the best trending keywords and also the search results so i want you to select keywords um, with the designs with less than 500 results for a uh, the better appearance of your design. So opt for designs that have 500 or less results. This will give you a really good uh, kind of stance in order to rank higher. And remember to have your Excel spreadsheet open so you can record the keywords that you would need to focus on. Step three is to decide what categories you post in. So my simple design formula for this is 80% niche based, 10% general and 10% trending designs. Let's break it up. So 80% is supposed to be designs that are niche based. What that niche that you've selected. Remember when we said to niche down, the 10% designs are supposed to be general designs. These work to bring in sales, but not consistently and regularly as your niche designs. Yet they're also still very essential and an important part of the formula 
The 10% is the trending designs. These will give you a boost in sale during the trending season and at the same time they need to be monitored they need to be updated regularly avoid deleting them do not delete them i've done that before and i've also kept some of the uh, trending designs in my portfolio and i've noticed months after they're ranking quite well and they're actually selling even after the trend has gone so i wouldn't delete them i would allow them to accumulate in my uh, in my portfolio but also remember to only focus on about 10% because the majority of your focus is supposed to be the 80% which is the niche based designs. So an example of this I'd like to share is when my RBG design that I created a few months back it was one of the uh, legendary quotes that um, by RBG and it didn't sell at all during the trending season. It was heavily trending at the moment but it did not sell. Surprisingly, months later, about three or four uh, weeks ago, I saw three of the designs, two stickers and one t-shirt. So you would never know if I would have given up and deleted the design or just, you know, ignored it all, the, all together, then I would have lost the potential sales and possible future ones to come. Step four is to start designing. I want you to focus on basic designs. I want you to focus on uh, starting with text based designs and then move on to graphics you can do so by using the canva program you can use the free version or you can use the pro version for extra um, features so what canva does it incorporates the graphics into your designs and it makes your designs unique it allows you to speed up the process of creating and publishing and uploading your design other great sites other than canva is the free version of ipc this has a great free editing abilities and you can also make gold and silver foil designs with ease which are super trending um, now on redbubble these are great to add a spark and they also add an appeal to those who love glossy and shiny designs preferably preteens and teenagers as well another a great resource to help you with your design process that was super uh, like boost your sales and it will speed up your creation process is Creative Fabrica. Creative Fabrica is a platform that allows designers to sell their designs, graphics, text, in order to be used commercially by creators. You can purchase single items, bundles, or as I do, I just purchase a monthly subscription to access everything. If you are into Photoshop, but you don't want to spend on the amount on membership you can also use Photofia which is a free version that's quite similar to Photoshop it basically has all the elements of Photoshop but it can be used for free without any download or disk space required not if you are not into uh, graphic design if you're not into the technicalities of it if you're looking for an easy way to start creating stunning designs what should you do well my first bet is to go to creative fabrica or vecteezy which is a competitor for creative fabrica both of these platforms what they have in common is they provide you with a commercial license of text graphics fonts these designs are created by creatively talented artists so you don't need to worry about the technical side of creation all you need to do is make sure that you use the PSD file for each of the designs that you download change it around to make it your own unique design how could you change it around well start off by adding a different color start off by changing the pattern or by adding an element to make it yours so you can open the um, PSD file in Photopia you can also open the um, uh, PNG file in Canva if you have the Canva Pro account as well this is one of the my favorite um, features of Canva Pro is it allows you to open the PNG file that you've downloaded and then change it around and download it as your own of course you need the creative um, uh, kind of the commercial license for that which you can get on creative fabrica and VicTC as well step five enable all products this step is super important you don't understand how it can change your sales I want you to take the time to enable all the products go ahead step by one step by step enable all the products it will help to maximize your earnings and exposure to your designs you'll never know when someone will buy a high earning tapestry just from seeing your design on a three dollar sticker step six 
take promotion and marketing in your own hands. Now, this is a topic of um, debate right here. Um, just because Redbubble is amazing when it comes to promoting your designs. But remember that this is because they have active cookies that follow the customer everywhere they go once they viewed a design. But nowadays, Redbubble is not what it was two or three years ago. It's a very competitive market out there. It has extreme potential, which means it's just as important right now to take promotion and marketing in your own hands. You need to maximize your earnings. You need to take charge of your marketing. What could you do to get started? This is my strategy, four steps. First step is to use free tools. Use Pinterest. Use um, other promotional uh, methods, social media promotional methods. For example, Pinterest, you can start off by schedule five pins a day consistently. Create the pins using Canva. Boom, there you go. The second uh, way is to use uh, tools such as Canva or Tailwind to help you to uh, schedule your pins. Create using Canva and a uh, schedule and post using Tailwind. Canva is also really amazing because it helps me to provide me with ex uh, amazing Pinterest templates that are professionally designed to attract clicks. And you can also design and schedule all your pins all in one through Canva in a simple few uh, clicks using the creator calendar as well. Step seven is automating the process. And this is the most exciting part because it really helps to, uh, you to get organized, uh, to help you to plan and to create as many designs that are uh, like uh, appealing as possible. So what I want you to know about this step is I want you to plan to publish 10 to 20 designs per day with each design having about 15 to 20 tags each. Automate the process. How? By designing the pins on Pinterest, you can simply create up to 50 pins per document, all with the same template, the colors, the fonts, and then simply change the text and image accordingly, schedule the pins, and this will save you hours of time and effort. Create an Instagram uh, from these pins, like just go if you're creating pins using Canva, just uh, save the document and then open uh, it to the sizing of Instagram to Facebook and create a simple page that revolves around your portfolio. Step eight and the last step is batch design. Batch designing is super important. It helps you stay on top of the competition. It helps you stand out among the crowd. So what you could do is you could start off by using Canva to create designs. Inside each Canva file, you can open a maximum of 100 designs that are each uh, a size of 5,000 times 5,000 pixels. Why? Because this is the perfect size for t-shirts, stickers, and canvas prints. So we've ended today's video. Thank you so much for watching till the end. I appreciate every single one of you. If you have not yet subscribed, go ahead and subscribe.